Okay, remember how we hear so much about voter ID laws and removing people from voter rolls? It's all about preventing voter fraud. It's all about fairness. It's about democracy. It's about the rule of law. We need a well-organized society. And I've been making the case, no, it's really about helping Republicans. And the fewer people that vote, the more people we can eliminate from voter rolls, the, the more we can suppress voter turnout, the better it's going to be for Republicans. We've known that for a long time. Republicans still have maintained that's not the case until now. We now have video evidence and audio, which I will play for you shortly. This is Pennsylvania Republican State Com uh, from the Republican State Committee meeting in Pennsylvania. This is Pennsylvania's Republican House leader, Mike Terzai. He says, plain and simple, Lewis, voter ID will help Mitt Romney win. And let's see if I can get that uh, that video reloaded here, Lewis. And we would get we will get right to it. Yes, we do. Here we go, Lewis. Let's take a listen to what Mike Terzai had to say. Voter ID, which is going to allow Governor Romney to win the state of Pennsylvania. Done. There you go. Voter ID laws will help Mitt Romney win. And let's be honest, he's going to need everything he can get in Pennsylvania to even have a shot in that state. Right. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. More. Nobody's surprised. I'm not surprised. We knew that this was the case. We know that Republicans aren't dumb. They know that if they can get people not to vote, it's good for them. It's good for their candidates, plain and simple. But usually they're, they're claiming that this is just a oh, voter, stand, standard operating procedure. Voter fraud, Lewis. Yeah. Voter fraud is a huge issue. Although, let's actually look at some of those numbers. Craig Newmark put together a fascinating infographic. And according to that infographic, between 2000 and 2007, we had over 32,000 UFO sightings in the United States, Lewis. We had 352 people die as a result of getting struck by lightning. And we had nine cases of voter impersonation, this boogeyman fear, straw man argument about people will show up and say they're someone else and vote. And we need voter ID. We need to call the voter rolls because let's be honest, it's very likely somebody would be impersonated. Of course, uh, only 3% as likely as getting hit by lightning. I would say it's probably more likely that uh, I would say that there are probably more than nine cases of people trying to manipulate the results. Um, never mind voter fraud. That's a good that's a good argument. Actually, we probably would be able to dig up more examples of voter caging and uh, manipulation of results through technology than we would of actual voter impersonation for which we see. I mean, how, how much money, by the way, fiscal conservatism, how much money is going into all of these voter ID and removing people from voter rolls and requiring submission of paperwork in Florida, for example? It's unbelievable. Yet conservatives continue to hype this extremely rare occurrence as if it was something that's happening every day. Hey, it's probably the reason Obama even won. It's probably the reason Democrats win because of voter fraud, people showing up and saying there's someone else. Well, I'm glad we have uh, some hard evidence on video now that, uh, that there is an agenda here. Absolutely.